Hello everyone, Rick back with our third vacation vlog. It's Thanksgiving Day 2022. We're walking from our hotel, the Vidara, over to the self-parking at the Aria. That's where you have to do the self-parking at. They don't have the self-parking at Vidara. And uh, all MGM properties, just FYI, so you know this ahead of time if you're coming to Las Vegas, all MGM properties, self-parking is $18 per day. But whatever hotel that you're staying, the $18 will cover you at any MGM property you go to. They give you like a barcode that you can keep on your phone and just use that at the uh, turnstile when you're parking or leaving and it'll let you in and out. Yeah, nice day today. The plan is to uh, go over to Caesars and get what we want for the day for our food and then come back and just watch football and hang out and just relax in the room. This is the uh, tram that connects Bellagio, Vidara, Crystals, uh, shopping center, real high end shopping center, and Aria and MGM Park hotels. And this is the little uh, turnaround that uh, you pull into off of Harmon Street to go to the to Vidara or Aria, you know, uh, valet parking. And the valet parking for I think every MGM property is now thirty-five dollars a day. And uh, the last time we were here, valet parking was free and self-parking was free, but that was what, two, almost three years ago before COVID hit. Now we're in front of Aria, and inside those windows is a 24-7 restaurant. We haven't eaten there this time, but we have gotten the food from there before when we were on previous trips. Anyway, it's just, this video is mostly kind of a, uh, just to show you what you need to do to do self-parking if you're staying at Madara. And we did try to go to Bellagio since it is connected w with walkways and the, uh, the tram, but there is no practical way to get to the self-parking there. You have to go on to Las Vegas Boulevard to access that, and that would just take longer than what we're doing here. And we did try using the uh, the tram to go from Badara over, but it takes a little bit longer, you know, going up the escalator to it and back down and we're standing in line and waiting for the tram and then riding it is longer than just walking. So now this is inside of Aria. Very nice. Sorry for the shaking. I'm, I am using a, a stabilizer tool on my video software to try and make it not quite as bad. This place has great gelato and I can't remember the name of that. We've had that before. Anyway, you know, what I should say is this was shot, all shot and done on Thanksgiving Day. Today is, is Friday, the day after Thanksgiving. It's Black Friday. Just hanging out in the room until we go see our show tonight. And that's called Mad Apple. We're going to see that over at MGM Park. Oh no, we're not going at MGM Park. It's at uh, New York, New York. We will take the tram to get over there though. Oh yeah, and we did a little research. 
when we go to Caesars Palace, it's not an MGM property. And the self-parking there, you get the first hour for free. And then once you get into the second through the fourth hour, then it's $15 charge. And then if you stay longer than that, then it's 18 for the whole day. When we're heading over there, we're gonna go back to uh, Dominique and so, call it but they have they make great pastries and danish and dessert things we're gonna get dinner there as well Got the card room on the poker room on the right. And this place is called Posh Burger. I think the burgers there, we check the menu, the burgers start at about $15. Don't come with anything, you know, if you want fries or onion rings, I think they start at seven or eight dollars. Now we're going up the escalator towards the self-parking for Aria. And we walk from the back side of Aria through the building to the front side. And that's where the self-parking is. You actually enter from uh, Las Vegas Boulevard, but it's not too hard to get to. And once you do it once, it's not so bad. It would be better if they had a couple of lanes for the entrance that sometimes does really back up a bunch, but there are two exit lanes, so it's not too hard to get out. Or let's just say it's easier. <laughs> There's a, looking towards Crystal's, the uh, shopping center. Everything's kind of mishmashed together. But it's all very nice. Way across to the parking garage. That orange building is called Veer. Two towers that you can get a condo in, and they they both lean in the opposite direction. Pretty trippy architecture. Now as we after we go through this door we're actually in the parking garage and then you take a right and then if you're on a different floor than the, the second floor you would take a right right at that machine and go get the elevator for whatever floor you're going to and now we are at the top floor of the parking garage at caesar's palace just taking a quick pan around as suzette walks towards the uh Elevators. Yeah, all Caesar's Palace. And now we're kind of, this is after we picked up our food and we're kind of walking back from Dominic Ansel's towards the uh, parking garage elevator. This is pretty much close to the, the far north side of, of uh, Caesar's Palace. Right there's the entrance to the forum shops. But before you get there, you take a right and then you're headed towards the parking garage and there's the Vanderpump restaurant to the right there.
you see the self-parking sign there to the pointing to the left. All right, well, this is what we got for Thanksgiving dinner. I can't pronounce whatever is in that can, but it's some great cookies. And then uh, this place is famous for their invention, the Krona. It's half. croissant and half donut and this month's version of it is raspberry they change every month and then this thing is called a chocolate cookie shot it's a cookie cup lined with dark chocolate and then filled with Madagascan van vanilla milk you have to get it and drink it there or it'll get all over the place and then here's the cronut the uh, November raspberry version they change that every month but it's really, really good. And then this thing is called the DKA. It's a Danish and it's their best seller. Very good. And the, this is called a Canel de Bordeaux. It's a creme brulee cake. Also very good. It looks chocolate, but it's creme brulee. This thing just looked so cool, we had to get one. It's, it's called the Fortune Cookie. It's filled with jasmine tea cream and lemon curd on a honey shortbread cookie. And the Fortune is made out of uh, white chocolate. Really good, super light, not you know super sweet or anything, but very good. And then we both split the uh, perfect little egg sandwich and the spinach gruyere cheese quiche for Thanksgiving dinner was all really, really good. We enjoyed it. And it wasn't heavy and very light, but super tasty. All right, there you have it. See you on the next one.